pissing on the great wall. A cranky Chinese American returns to the Little Kingdom in the midst of a new identity crisis. Whether beating the streets of Beijing in pursuit of a stolen backpack or confronting communism in an emperor's tomb, engaging in a battle of wits with overzealous tour guides and performing a pig sacrifice in his ancestral village, the champion of negative thought returns with more mystery, more mustings, and of course, more angst. Make some noise for pissing on the Great Wall, everybody! So, I am in Portugal with my father, and we have decided to start trying to navigate the metro system. And here's the thing, I read the instructions in Portuguese two or three times. I step back and observe what other people are doing. Slowly, methodically, I start to understand how the metro system here works. However, my very Chinese father bursts into the station, takes off in five directions at once. I think, seriously, I've seen him do it asks 20 irritable questions in one breath and barrels onto the first subway car he sees. And he has no idea, and he will never understand how the metro system here works. And yet, I kid you not, he will always end up exactly where he is trying to go. I, mean, I don't understand it. It's as though somehow his arrogance is so intense that it actually bends reality to his will. <laughs> and later on that day, we visited a bunch of medieval Catholic churches. And on our way in, we were accosted by maybe four beggars with five limbs between them. And it was like entering the freaking Dark Ages. <laughs> you know, here is, here is the thing about these medieval Catholic churches. See, they do not care. You know, they, they don't care about uh, making you feel better about yourself or how your relationship with Jesus can help you get a better grade on your next term paper. Those suckers are built to drive out evil. <laughs> they are designed to scare the crap out of you. Literally, if at all possible. And, uh, you know, we also saw a number of paintings of saints receiving the stigmata, which is classically portrayed by what appears to be Christ flying in on a cross and firing laser beams from space, which I am pretty sure was Ronald Reagan's wet dream. Thank you.